This just in, plane crash off the East Coast. There were five passengers on board. We're not sure of the names yet. Oh, wait. This just in, the airline has released the name of those five passengers. Sarah Smith, an English teacher at Whiteville High School, age 30. Bill Law, a retired Navy SEAL, age 67, from Raleigh, North Carolina. Brandon Franco, sophomore at Duke University, age 20, from Chicago, Illinois. Mary Jones, age 27, from Wake Forest, and Austin Miller, also known as Spike, age 17, former student at Aiden High School from Aiden, North Carolina. Oh shit, are we ever going to get off this island? Hey Bill, wake up! Oh, morning, Brandon. Can't sleep last night. What's on your mind? Well, Brandon, take a look around. All you see is trees and water. We're on an island, a hidden island. Nobody knows we're here. How are we going to get off? I've been thinking about this. Maybe we ought to build a raft. There's lots of stuff here we can use. What do you think? I think that sounds like a good idea, but uh, we should Guys, get the others together. we've been here for three days. We can't live like this much longer. You think? I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, and I want to get off this island. Sarah, we're all thirsty, and we're all hungry, and we all want to go home. Well, the only way we're going to survive is if we go that way and someone's going to swim for who knows how long. Well, I can tell you, that water's pretty cold out there. I don't think you'd make it if we swam. I don't care how we get off of this island, I just need to get off. Well, why don't you go ahead and swim and get some help? Why would I swim across? Bill was in the war. He's used to these cold conditions. Sarah, how can you expect somebody to swim across when you won't even do it yourself? Someone will have to swim across for me to survive. I think it should be Bill. He was a Navy SEAL. Yes, Sarah. I was a SEAL. That's why I'm saying that water's too damn cold to swim in. What happens if I drown? I'm going to leave all you people here to die. This island, nobody knows it's even here. Now, Brandon and I were talking earlier about building a raft. Let's discuss that. If Brandon don't make it, then what? You know, what if this is my purpose in life? What if this is what I was meant to do? Well, if we really gonna send someone across these waters, Brandon's our best bet? You guys, this is ridiculous. How can you ask somebody to risk their life to save ours? We need to be respectful of everybody's well-being. So are we all just gonna sit here and die? Someone needs to step up, because I'm the one to get off this island. We need to do what's fair for everyone. We each need to have the best advantage to survive. I think me taking the raft across the ocean is the best bet for everyone. Yep, that's what I agree is best for everyone. It's about time we figured this out. So it's settled. Brandon, when are you leaving? Well, remember, this is a pretty dangerous thing. This is a makeshift raft. I mean, we just put it together with junk we found here. And that water's freezing cold. If he falls off that raft, he could drown or he could die of hypothermia. Brandon, I don't feel like you. I'm okay with this. I think this is something I have to do. I think I leave this afternoon after something. Good luck, Brandon. Hurry up so I can go home. Yeah, safe travels. I ain't half the man you are. Brandon, I know I said this before, but you you don't have to do this. We can we can all do it together. Let's say a prayer before we send Brandon off. Bow our heads, please. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy give us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us. Amen. 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 Let's help you on the boat. Be careful, we don't want that baby to get hurt. Mm -hmm. Watch out. Oh, hey, hey, come on. Jeez. Well, we're off the island. Woo. Hey, where's Brandon? Sorry, guys, but he died on the way to the hospital. 